Hi everybody, welcome back to Bubble Pop Kids. We are doing a candy bonanza and I cannot wait. So many cool ones here today. What do we have here? Look at this one. It's a double blow whistle. I think there's bubble gum tape in here. So, so cool. Ooh, look at these. These are candy chocolate coated sunflower seeds. <laughs> have you ever heard of this? We even have a candy washer. We have a little candy washing machine. I don't even know what color is going to be in here. It foams. It looks like you can drink it. That is super cool. Ooh, I cannot wait to try these crunchkins. Pick those up at Walmart. We have some double bubble bits and pieces bubble gum. What else? Ooh, you're going to like these. Look at these mega buttons. <laughs> I've had these before. They were so tiny and little. These are huge. They come in all different flavors. We even have a candy marshmallow shish kebab. Look at this. Look at all these yummy candies. I guess they're supposed to look like pieces of meat and vegetable. Those are going to be super sweet. And we have this glamorous mix bag. <laughs> it has Chupa Chup, Mentos, Frutella. I've never even tried that before. It's this cute little purse and it is filled to the brims with candy. Cannot wait. What do you guys say we start with this washing machine? Here we go. Now unfortunately I cannot read this. It's got writing. It's either in I think Japanese or Chinese. But these look like the coolest little toys ever. You would never know you can put candy in here. And I think we actually have to build it, put all the pieces together. Let's take a look at this. Oh, ooh, we got the white one. I wanted it. It's got a cute little band-aid. Oh, it looks like we got stickers to decorate. Amazing little piece. And here are all the pieces. Whoa. <laughs> I wish there were less pieces. This looks a little complicated. But we're going to figure it out. Let's look at the directions. Oh, that does look like a washer. How funny. Let's put this baby together. So here is the bottom. We just have this little gear here. We put it right there. Next we have this little like cylinder piece and it also has a gear on the bottom. So I'm just going to connect it. Ooh, that looks like it's working. They're both kind of turning together. Perfect. Wow, this was super easy. A lot more or less complicated than I thought looking at all these pieces. So now you just put the top of the washer and you click it right on there. Let's check if it spins. Ooh, and it does. <laughs> Looks just like the inside of a washer. How adorable is this little scooper? It's like the one you put the detergent in with, except with this washer, we're going to be putting candy. Clips right on there. That is too, too much. Ooh, I forgot to show you this. Here is the candy. It's like a candy powder. Ooh, it's yogurt flavor. Yummy. <laughs> That's gonna taste delish. We also get a little straw so we could drink it out of there. And we gotta put the face on. precious little thing ever. Look at it. <laughs> I just cannot wait to put the candy in. So the first step is to put some water right up until that fill line inside. So now the water is in there. We're going to get our little yogurt powder candy. Looks just like detergent and we're going to put two scoops in there. Ooh, it does look like candy. It looks like sugar. So there's one, Boop. and two. And I'm super surprised that this is like yogurt flavor. That's a really good one. So the next step is to close it and start spinning away. And hopefully it's gonna foam up and look like a washing machine. Let's see. Would you guys believe this? It actually is foaming up. It looks like soap suds. I think it's supposed to come all the way to the top. This is so cool. <laughs> Let's see. I want to get it all the way up there and then we'll take our little straw and take a drink of it.
Wow, look at that. Those sides have reached the top. Ooh, I cannot wait to try this. You have our little straw. Look at all of that foam. Mmm, whoa. <laughs> Delicious! I can't even describe the flavor. It's super sweet. It tastes like a handful of sugar, but it's a little bit sour. I definitely don't taste any trace of yogurt or like milk. Mmm, it just tastes like a bunch of candy fizz. Kind of like Warhead. Super sour and sweet. Mmm, I love it. You could just drink it right out of there. And there's still more left in the packet, so you could do more of these. Probably one of the little coolest candy sets ever. On to the next one. Ooh, next up, how about some Glamorous Mix? <laughs> I'm not sure why this is called Glamorous Mix. It's got this cute little cartoon girl on there. There's tons of candies. This thing is so heavy. It's filled. Let's unzip. Ooh, and I love this adorable little purse it comes in. Ooh. Ah, got it. Let's unzip this baby and see what's in here. Whoa. <laughs> tons of candy in there. Oh, this is super adorable too. When you're finished, you can use this as like a little makeup bag or store a little shop keys in here. But we have to look at each one of these. First ones up are these Frutella. I have never tried them before. They're called Frutella Pixels. These are completely new. They look so cute. They kind of look like Pop Rocks or Nerds. Hmm. They actually look like little bitty pieces of gum too. Look at all those cool colors. These are the coolest. When you look at them, they kind of look hard, but when you chew into them, they're so soft and chewy. Nerds are really hard and crunchy. These are super sweet, really, really easy to chew. And they have the yummiest fruit flavors. Mmm, love those. And we get tons and tons of those, which is amazing, because those may be one of my new favorite candies. They are so good. They're not too sweet, they're not too sour. They kind of feel like chewing gum, even though they're not. You could swallow it. We get about 10 of those. Ooh, Chupa Chupa. Oh, these are Chupa Chupa minis. We get strawberry, orange, with, oh, pear. I love the pear ones. Those are so hard to find. Orange. Ooh, what's this one? Whoa, you guys, this is a cola soda flavored Chupa Chupa. I've never seen this before. It's got little glasses. It looks like Coke or Pepsi. Mmm, we gotta try this one. So, so cool. Kind of reminds me of a root beer flavored Dum Dum. I haven't tasted it. Mmm. Oh, this is so crazy, you guys. It tastes just like Coke or Pepsi. It really does taste like soda. And Chupa Chups, if you've never had them, they are the yummiest lollipops. They have ice cream flavors. The fruit flavors are so, so good and fruity. This one tastes like I just took a sip of either Coke or Pepsi. It is amazing. Ooh, let's try the orange one. I haven't had one of those in so long. And these are super cute too because they're mini ones. The regular ones are a little bit bigger. Mm. The soda one was good, but I think I like the fruit ones even a little more. So we get tons of those. You could share them with your friends. This little bag is just filled. I think you'd have candy for about two months with this. We get that whole stack of lollies. And we also get, oh, I love these. Mentos. I don't know if you've ever had Mentos before, but they are so good. They're like these hard candies, but when you chew them, they're soft inside. <gasps> and this gets better. Cola flavored. They are actually soda flavored. The red ones. The greenish ones are lemon. Ooh, strawberry. Those are my feet. Looks like we get orange. Let's try the cola. Got it. And of course, they're going to be that light brown color, just like the lollipop. I have no clue what this would taste like. Mmm. Woo! If those don't taste like soda, I don't know what does. And I've been eating Mentos forever, but I've never seen this kind. They always have the fruit ones. Those are so, so amazing. And the strawberry. Those are my ultimate, all-time favorite Mentos. And if you're not familiar with these, I can give you a closer look. They're so hard. They almost feel like a rock. But if you just chew into them, there they are. They are so chewy on the inside. Mmm, so, so fruity. 
So there it is guys, with this little glam bag, you are gonna be having candy forever. On to the next one. French kids, these are new. I actually picked them up at Walmart. I have been looking for these for weeks and <laughs> I saw the commercial and it said get them at Walmart, so I ran there and I found them. They have the coolest flavors. I'm not even sure what they are. It says dessert flavored poppers. We get, ooh, birthday cake, fudge brownie, and glazed donuts. Mm. This pack is huge. It's a sheer pack. Oh, I cannot wait to try these. I am ready for a little chocolate. Oh, and they're all different colors. Look at this. Here's the pack. I'm guessing this one right here is a glazed donut. Ah, oh, my mouth is watering. Let's try it. Wow, I don't know if it tastes exactly like a glazed donut, but it tasted like caramel. It was so good. And let me show you the inside. After you bite these, I don't know how to describe it. It's kind of like a piece of cereal inside. It's super crunchy. Mmm, so good. Let's try the chocolate brownie. Ugh, I've been dying for a piece of chocolate all day. Here we go. Mmm, that one was so much better. Oh. I can, it feels like there's a piece of like Rice Krispie treat inside. I don't know, it's so, so crunchy. Last up is the birthday cake. Mmm, ooh, that one tastes like icing. Mmm, gonna see these for later. They were so, so good. They're just so fluffy inside. They're not really heavy. They're kind of sugary, but not too sweet. I would recommend them, crunch kids. If that wasn't enough candy for ya, here we go. We have this gigantic, would you guys look at this thing? It is a candy marshmallow shish kebab. Here it is, it's got this cute little guy here. And it says sweet people on there. Mm, I don't know if that's the brand, but this thing sure is gonna be sweet. Let's open it. Look at all of those colors, whoa. Look at this little dude here with his sombrero and mustache. This he just slides off. And these are supposed to look like meats and little vegetables on here. Let's slide them all off and see how they taste. <laughs> I have never ever seen one of these before. When I saw this, I was so excited. Had to show it to you. Look at this one. I don't know, I think this is supposed to be the meat. It's kind of like a peach colored one. Believe it or not, you guys, this tastes like ice cream. This is the creamiest marshmallow. It's so soft and fluffy. It's not like one of those harder ones. And it tastes like a creamsicle. I can't even explain it. This one here has all that sugar on it. Ooh, these must be gourmet. These are not your average marshmallows. First of all, inside, that tastes like yogurt or some kind of whipped cream. It is too, too creamy. And the outside, all these little sugar flakes are so, so sour. Kind of tastes like Sour Patch Kids with a marshmallow. Ooh, there's even these little sour rings, all different colors. What else is on here? Okay, let's try this red one. This looks like a piece of meat. Mmm. Ugh, that one was too good. I ate the whole thing. <laughs> it just tastes like a Sour Patch Kid wrapped in a marshmallow. I don't know how to explain it, but I would definitely recommend these. And I actually picked this up in Mexico when I was on a vacation. So I don't know if they sell them in the United States. I'm not too sure, but maybe you can find it online. It is too, too good. Oh, look at this white one that's got little orange dots. Let's try that. Tastes like ice cream. Moving on, I don't know about you guys, I am enjoying myself so much with this yummy candy. We had such cool ones today, and here is another. When I first saw this, I just thought it was like a regular little whistle necklace, until I realized there is, well let me show you, bubble tape. It is a bubble tape whistle necklace. How amazing is that? Ooh, this looks so cool. Looks like it's really sweet and tarty open it kind of like what is that stuff hubba bubba bubble tea but i think it's even better because it's like a necklace here we go just stick it right in there how funny taste it oh it's really good it tastes just like double bubble it is just original flavor i thought it would be cherry or something like that but it is really really tasty not too sweet perfect bubble gum and you could just store it. This is so cute for kids. Look at that. 
and it actually works. I love how it's got a little soccer ball decoration. So cute. And they had these in all different colors. They had some with basketballs, footballs. But I like this one with the red. Mm, and since we're on the bubble gum, how about a little more? This is the double bubble bits and pieces bubble gum. I have never ever seen anything like this. They look like little rocks in there. And it says assorted fruit flavors. When I saw this, I thought it was just the most adorable little box. Let's try them. So, so colorful. Ooh, look at them. They kind of look like the little rocks at the bottom of a fish tank. They are so shiny. Here it goes. Well, these are super, super weird. I have to tell you, because when you first put them in your mouth, they're just like, they kind of taste like sweet tarts. There is no gum, but you have to put a lot in, start chewing around, and once you chew for a long time, they do turn into gum. Like if you just eat one at a time, it doesn't feel like gum at all. You have to put about this much, chew it around a little, it all sticks together. Mm, it's so sweet. It's pretty much just like candy coated, almost like a gumball. Those are good though, I like them, it's kind of different. I also love these because they come in the most brightest colors. Ooh, I actually have one in my mouth right now. And I know this is super gross, but look at it. It turns into a little piece of white gum. So there they are, the double bubble bits and pieces. I would definitely recommend these little gums. They are so, so funny looking. And they definitely do turn into bubble gum, kind of like magic. <laughs> These little candy rocks, so, so yummy. Moving from the bubble gum, we have some candy mega buttons. Now you guys, I'm sure you've seen them before. They're like these tiny little dots that are all over the paper. You kind of scrape them off, but these are like 10 times the size. They are huge. And we get cherry, orange, lemon, ooh, and raspberry. Now, the Mega Buttons I you see are actually the tiny little button candies. These just tasted like sugar. But I think these ones are so big, they actually are going to have fruit flavors. Maybe you have to try it. Oh, they smell so good. Aren't these the weirdest little things? They're connected with the paper, and you don't eat the paper. You just kind of peel them off. Let's try. Tasted like cherry. That is so amazing. These are just, they're so, so funny. I mean, what kind of candy comes attached to paper like this? Wouldn't it be so cool if the printer from the computer could print candy? <laughs> I would be in heaven. Okay, so here's the orange one. Ooh, these are fun to peel off. Here's the lemon and the blue rasp. And they actually do look like buttons. Kind of look like M&Ms. Let's try the blue one here. Mmm, so good. They are like sugar puffs. They're kind of like sugar cubes with a little bit of fruit flavoring. So, so good. I never liked the small ones just because they had no flavors, but these ones do. And you can just peel them away. You have tons of candies in this. Amazing. This is the worst part of the video for me. We're on to the final candy of this bonanza, but don't worry, we're always gonna have so many more of these. But these are the coolest. I've never seen them before. They're called Sunburst Candy Coated Chocolatey Sunflower Kernels. They are so funny because they look just like those little bubble gum pieces, but they have sunflower seeds in there. This is gonna be good. Let's try it. in love with this container. It looks like a super gigantic TikTok container. Here they are. Whoa, they have all the colors. They have purple, blue, too, too colorful. Here it goes. You guys, this is the best invention ever. <laughs> and I have to tell you why. Because you have this candy coating like on an M&M. Then inside you have chocolate and in the bottom you have this salty sunflower seed. This is what it looks like on the inside. You could see the little seed in there with the chocolate. They're too amusing for words. I just cannot describe them. They are so crunchy. Yet they're soft. Probably the best candy in this whole bonanza today. 
They can cover sunflower seeds with chocolate. They can pretty much start covering anything with it. Maybe like, well, they already have peanuts, raisins. What else? <laughs> they have, hmm, maybe pumpkin seeds. Those would be good. They're also just too, too funny because they are in the shape of sunflower seeds. You can see the little points on them. And you will never see a sunflower seed this colorful in your life. Look at that. There it is on the inside. A little sweet and salty together, my fave. There it is, everybody. The end of the bonanza. We had so many good ones. Now, out of every single thing here, I think the cutest one was this little washing machine. It was just so amazing how you spin it and it foamed like that. But the best tasting one probably were these chocolatey sunflower seeds. I love this glamorous bag, the little buttons. And I'd love it for you to leave me a comment and let me know out of all these candies, which one you like the best. And how about we close this off with a little bit of Shopkins. Since we're doing sweet treats, we have the Shopkins Food Fair, little sweet ones. This is supposed to be like a jelly bean jar or candy jar. Let's see who we're going to get. <laughs> it goes along so good with the candies. Whoop. Here we go, little jelly bean jar. Oh, so, so cute. I wish they had real Shopkins candies in here. <laughs> so we get one blind bag. You, our little collector's guide. So many, whoop, so many cute ones in there. Here we go. Oh, what is this? Oh, looks like a little milkshake. Here we go, found it. We got Millie Shake. Oh, look at that cute little purple glass with the whipped cream and the cherry. Adorable. This one's big. <laughs> it's kind of heavy too. What is this gonna be? <gasps> Ooh, what is this? So, so big. Looks like an ice cube. That licorice. Now this one is from, I think licorice is a season one, but this has to be a glitzy, shiny one. Look at all of it. It's kind of clear at the bottom. It looks like ice. It has so much sparkle. Look at this. This is probably one of my all-time favorite Chopkins ever. <laughs> I am just loving it. And it's an ultra rare. Love it. Love that whipped cream on top, too. Oh, here's our two little food fair cuties. We got licorice. This one is just dazzling. <laughs> kind of matches my nail polish with all the silver little sparkles. And Millie Shake. That makes me want a milkshake. We've reached the end, and I hope you enjoyed all this yummy candy, that little shish kebab, the washer machine, and these little sweet treat chopkins. We are going to have so many more fun videos coming up. This is Bubble Pop Kids. You can click this big red subscribe button here and subscribe to our channel. Have a great day. Bye.